Welcome everyone to episode 46 of Only Trails, the Glue School Only Iron Man. And I'm very happy to announce that today we got our very first sponsor. Me. That is right, gentlemen and 0.9% ladies. Today's episode is sponsored by the YouTube channel of Only Trails. If you are not yet subscribed, what the hell are you doing? I upload every single Wednesday. So get on this train because there's a new series starting very soon. And don't forget to press that bell button. All right, now sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. Yeah! I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the end game. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Last episode, Sherlock gave me a clue that I didn't expect. I had to fix a lamp in Dorgus Khan. For that, I needed a light orb, which requires 87 crafting. Considering I get 50,000 XP per hour, and including the molten glass and sand buying, this is going to take me 50 hours, and I only had a week to do it. And here's the first milestone level coming in. It is 84 crafting, which is only two levels away from us being able to boost to 87. This is black dehyde bodies, which is something I have a couple of. I mean, like the black dehyde, obviously, in my bank. So I'm going to use those up, alk those, and that's a good 200k I'm going to get from that. But first, just a little bit more of this glass making. I actually have 315 black dehyde in the bank. That's a bit more than I expected, actually. Let's go to the tanner, tan these up. And let's make those black dehyde bodies. And these are the last ones I still have to tan. Now let's go max efficiency back to the back. Max efficiency plane right there. <laughs> and we're already done with the black dehyde bodies. Unfortunately, that didn't take too long. <laughs> but we got 114 black dehyde bodies now that will alk for a mil almost. So we basically made... We, made, we just made bank, to be honest. Right, um, back to glass making now. All right, I'm gonna do something completely unnecessary. I'm going to make a golden necklace, and you guys are probably wondering why. It's because now I have three million crafting XP on the dot. There we go, three million XP on the dot. That looks absolutely beautiful, to be honest. Enough time wasting, <laughs> let's go back to Molten Gloss. I still have 6.1k AFK able Molten Gloss right now, but as long as I don't have to AFK, I'm gonna keep doing charters with Lunars. Here we go, finally. 86 crafting which means we can actually boost up to 87 to make the lamp thing i completely i completely forgot what we actually i just went to Brimhaven, didn't i all right no i went to the right spot i completely forgot what we were supposed to make i know it was the lamp thing but I, I don't remember the name frankly i am going to miss this grind i didn't love it it wasn't great but we have an 86 skill now which is pretty high and it's my highest skill except for strength which is pretty incredible it's even higher than my hit points too so i'm pretty proud of that that we actually got that grind done that's a little less grinding for monster clothes i guess without further ado let's try and get this plus one okay that was easy um boom there we go that's 70 xp per holy shit one more level and i'm actually gonna get some crafting gains when i get a new grind anyways let's find out where the hell this light orb has to go let's go to dorgish khan and complete this elite clue before i can fix the lamp i need to pickpocket a goblin wire from the cave goblins so i can actually make the light orb so let's hope that doesn't take too long got it there we go use on boom is there a bank here? Right, I have two more poison chalices. If I don't get the boost, I gotta go all the way back to Camelot. Please don't do me like that. It's not even doing anything. Oh, little strange? Yes, oh my god, how lucky am I? That's crazy. Oh my god. Here it is, that's the broken lamp, and hopefully I can just put it in, and then firelight it. We did it. Skill challenge completed. All right, Sherlock, after a week of almost not sleeping, <laughs> I did your challenge. And we got the casket. That is amazing. Okay. Uh, should I drop this? No, I'm going to keep it for the next time. <sighs> Start of the episode. Already a casket. Let's get it. Yeah, that's trash. First Barrow's chest back. Boom. Boom. 
going down into Torag because we have a special level coming up. 79 magic. We can now cast Entangle, which I'm never in my life going to do because I'm not a PKer or I don't use Entangle at my imps because it costs way too many nature runes. Did we get a combat level? Not at all. I'm gonna stay here at Barrows until I get an elite or an item and then I'm going over to the Forthos dungeon because I'm tired of going dry. I'm 25 chests dry again. Give me something. All right, I've made up my mind. I'm going way too dry at Barrows. It's time to get into the Forthos dungeon. Now I have no idea how to get there to be honest, but <laughs> this is the gear we're rocking. Three prayer pots, bit of combo food, the Carol's leather top that I haven't used yet. So one hit and it's going into like 100% so it's going down whatever uh, everything is looking fine 50% on the legs which is decent slash weapon I mean crush weapon we got it the beautiful gilded defender can't go wrong with that dragon boots I think we're, we're all right I'm hoping that I can actually do good on this guy H tooth is guiding me to the fourth O's dungeon I've never been in inside let's go down into the fourth O's dungeon I don't know if I have to do anything we got a new track though let's listen to that one Wait. turn that shit up turn up Oh my god. Yo, I'm feeling mythical right now. I don't know if I need a stone or anything to pass through it. H2th is hopefully going to get me straight through that boss. Uh, and then it's pray melee, pray mage. No, pray melee, pray range when I get webbed. Let me quickly recap what we're doing here. There's this new spider boss in the Forthos dungeon called Serachnis. Now this guy has a 1 out of 40 drop rate of hard clues, which is not that bad in itself, but he also has a 1 out of 60 drop rate of getting an elite. On top of that, we could also get a pet from this guy, a 1 out of 3000 drop rate, and there's just a bunch of nice stuff on his loot table. I'm going here for the elites, but I might be leaving with a pet. Alright boys, there's already a guy killing it here. I'm so ready for this. Enter this bitch. Let's go. Let's go. I got you, Mr. Sorokness. It's over for you now. It's over for you. Protect range. Yeah, boy. You got nothing on me, dude. You've got nothing on the big on the big T. Oof, 33. Dude, this is my favorite weapon in the game by far. Get out. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. I'm actually going to get a kill. Oh, no, wait. The minions still have to come. There he is. Do I gotta kill the minions? I, uh, let's let's kill the minions just to be safe. What is this guy? Is this? Oh, that's a melee minion. Oh yo, gotta pay attention to that range attack. Yo, so far so good. I'm I'm full focused right now, boys. By the way, <laughs> I'm full focused. We're almost there, boys. He's almost down. Don't hiss me right now. There we go. We got him, boys. First kill of Sorokness. What is the drop? Oh, 130 cosmic runes. Not too bad. Boom. Finish him off. Get that elite clue. Drink a prey pot. What are we getting? Ooh, what is all that? A crystal key? A grubby key? And a giant egg sack? The third kill of the day. A tattered moon page. Weapon poison plus plus. Yo, hey, guys. I can actually make a DDP plus plus. Big gains. Next drop. Another page, my god. Okay, let's see. We are going to open the... Can I store these pages somewhere, by the way? Let's try and find this grubby chest. We also have a crystal key, which is pretty insane. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, grubby key. Let's see what we get. Oh, my god. Yo, boys. We're going straight back in. We're going straight back in. No question. Let's get those kills. Number five. 22 uncup sapphires. Not too bad. Fluby, you can take over for a sec. Let's discover this area a little bit more because there seems to be an altar or people are telling me that there's an altar above the grubby chest place now i don't think one full prayer is enough to get through the whole seracnus fight but that can actually maybe reduce my kills to like only one dose if i flick a little bit so let's quickly check that out okay there's an altar here but i'll i have to run through these guys so i don't know how worth that is okay it's not multi-combat that's that crap jesus <laughs> that would have been bad if i died there all good. No, we, we killed him with half prayer too this time. <gasps> Ooh, eight battle staves. Not bad. That would have been great for the crafting grind, but yeah. And grimy dwarf weed. Not bad, even though I can't use it at the moment. I'm digging it. Uh, should I stay for one more or not, boys? What do you think? <laughs> yes! Come on! No way! Oh my god! Get me out! Oh -hoo -hoo! All right, we're doing this elite. We're doing this elite. Yes, that's too good. That is too good. Uh-oh, this is not good. This is not good. 
Sherlock, don't do me like this. I just came from a massive crafting grind. Don't give me double natures. Give me Cosmics, at least. I'll be happy with Cosmics, almost. Core goal and Skull Ball? What the hell is that? But you know what? I can do that. I don't even know what Skull Ball is, though. Oh, there's my ball. Um. All right, we get... Get it? Here it goes! Ladies and gentlemen! Only trails with the... F with the first goal! Goal! Speak to a wise man. Easy enough. That's a puzzle. Where is the train going? <laughs> so uh, I just united the Wildy team and we're gonna have to continue because I got the clue where I need the Black Salamander at the Warriors Guild. And I don't have a Black Salamander. I do have the hunting level though. Uh, but first, we gotta catch a black salamander in the wilderness, which is really close to the Chaos Temple. It should not take too long, and after that, we can just go straight to the Warrior's Guild. What do I need again? A small net? You're not gonna tell me I don't have a net, right? Alright, and a rope. One more rope. Wow, that is absolutely sad, to be honest. Can he drop a casket for me is the question. Or is it just another elite clue? Oh no, it's another elite clue. Last step, boys. This could absolutely screw us over. Where the hell is that? Oh my, okay, that's really easy. That's good. That's really good. Let's get that casket. <sighs> Elite Clue Casket number nine. Everyone give me the blessings, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. Here we go. Four. What do I need? What do I want? I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be third age. Let's do it. A tooth half of a key. Are you kidding? This is absolute trash. Hopefully we'll do better in the next episode.